Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the show. You're back with the Midwest Express. Got a lot of topics to cover today. So, last night while I was out driving for Grubhub, I ran across a driver who, me and him were talking about what apps we drive for, and he was driving for DoorDash, and I was kind of, you know, trying to turn him onto the channel. So I was like, hey, let me tell you a little bit about Grubhub and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, you know, you drive all those apps. You know, you can do you want to get rid of any of these? And I was like, what? He goes, people, you know, I'll, I'll buy. I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, I'll buy, you know, your account if you don't want to drive any of these. And it does dawned on me that he was one of these drivers that are out here probably driving under an assumed identity. And I just said, no, no, I'm good. And kind of went on my own day, you know, live and let live. But it got me thinking Again, about this topic of people that are scamming drivers and scamming shoppers that are out here. And then this morning, I got this video uh, that came across my stream because I subscribe to a lot of Walmart Spark and Instacart videos that go on TikTok. So let's watch this video together. I don't like to make videos like this, but like, what the? I'm just trying to like, the only way I can make a living is like through Instacart. And Uber Eats and Instacart. I got a scam from somebody on Instacart. A shopper, someone who shops on Instacart just scammed me. And I can't even get into my own account. And nobody, I'm contacting so many people on Instacart. Like, and nobody's calling me. I'm asking them, please call me Instacart. I need to speak to somebody. My account has been hacked. Like, please help. And nobody's helping. Wow. So, you know, and that's, I've been there. And it's heartbreaking to see people that make mistakes when doing gig work. And I was just as guilty. I, I did a previous video about how I got my account hacked or scammed on with Uber. And we all feel like we're experienced shoppers. We're experienced drivers. We won't make these mistakes. We see other people make these mistakes and you're like, oh, that person was just stupid. They just did this. These scammers are getting very ingenious on how they're going to get you. And their, their, their pitch always changes a little bit more. And I will link uh, this young lady's uh, TikTok channel in the remarks section and I'll pin it to the top so that you guys can go check out her whole video later. But, you know, she kind of goes into how it happens and breaks it down. And this is, this is the, the, the despair moment of her video. And I wanted to share that because that's how you feel when things hit the fan. You are desperate. You are panicked. You don't know how to get a hold of the company because most of these companies, you have to get a hold of them in the app. So if you don't have a phone number to call them, you are just are in a frantic and you don't know which way to turn. And so it's important that you save the customer service numbers in your phone and never, ever, 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 ever contact a customer outside the app. They will leave all types of comments. They will say, Oh, you're shopping for my mom. Can you reach out to her and see, which is what happened to this girl. Reach out to my mom and see if she, you know, needs anything additional. And then these guys were ingenious. Like they went some next level stuff and she'll break it down for you in that video. But these scammers just keep morphing again and again with the new games and the new, you know, just ways to get you every which way, but from Sunday and it's important that you guys are just aware never ever ever contact a customer outside the app they'll say oh text me at this or call me here once you got the order or do this that the other in the remarks nope I don't ever do it never 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 ever do I contact a customer outside the app and in fact when I see it I'll tell them in the instructions to cover my own butt I will say I noticed that in the app, you requested me to call you at a separate number. I can only contact you within the app. And then I send them that text. And I, and I say, your order's been picked up and I'm on my way. 
And if it doesn't go through, it doesn't go through. But that's that's their problem, not my problem. And it, because I'm using the app and I point that out, if something does go hinky and they are some type of scammer trying to get over on you, the remarks will all be covered there. But this young lady, they did some next level stuff. They got access to her account. They got her to give her PIN number up. And, you know, when you do Instacart, every time you log into Instacart again, you have to, when you log in, it's going to say, give us your phone number and we'll send you the PIN. You give them the phone number to your account and they, they send you the PIN number and you have to put the PIN in. And, and on that comment, when you get the PIN, every time you get the PIN number, they have a thing. It says, don't share this code with anyone. Our employees will never ask for the code. <laughs> this young lady's been doing Instacart since 2019. And she's not a dope. She's not stupid. She just got scammed by some next level hustlers that got her. And I, my heart breaks for her, you know, and hopefully she gets it ironed out. Uh, hopefully she starts multi-apping with more than just a couple of apps because you don't want to be dependent on just a couple of apps out here. I do everything guys, as you know, and I, it, it gives me peace of mind that know that if any of these apps go away tomorrow, I can just jump on another one. And I, I recommend that for each and every one of my subscribers too. So, so kind of covered the, the public service announcement. Next, I want to talk to you guys about this tripod that was in yesterday's video. If you didn't see, I talked a little bit about it. Subscribers yesterday asked me, uh, John, where did you get that at? Or do you have a link to it or Amazon affiliate program and whatnot? And I responded back to him and I'm like, no, I got it at Walmart and it only cost me, you know, $5 and something. And also say thank you to Arika Pastor. She made this comment the other day when I was talking about DoorDash bags and whatnot. And she said that she got uh, two catering bags at Gordon Foods uh, for $11, big catering bags. So, and she loves them. So that is the kind of tips I'm looking for and I want to share with you guys. So if you guys have any tips along the lines of good deals, be it cell phone holders, chargers, clips, things that you use in your daily gig. Uh, somebody the other day said they have a heating warmer bag. Uh, I was kind of interested in that. I was like, tell me more, but they never came back. Um, I don't want any Amazon affiliate links. <laughs> Okay, so don't try to sell your own sales pitch, but tell us where the bargains are at, or at least what bargains you found along the way. Share those kind of things, and uh, it'll make us a better community as well. So just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about that, and I guess that's it. Today, I, you know, I started my day. I went to Panera, got my, uh, if you guys are not in the Panera Sip Club, if you drink coffee or these charged lemonades, it is $12 a month. You can refill every two hours. I am in and out of Panera all the time. But also I like to do the Panera temperature check. And I can kind of see if food delivery is going to be a hit or a miss that day just based on the shelf in Panera. If I go in and there's no orders for Panera in the morning... I'm usually like, all right, it's not a it's not a food delivery day. It's time to either ship to groceries or rideshare. So, and I've been doing a little bit of both of those this morning. But hope you guys have a great day, great week. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll hit you on the next one.